I may have been keeping a secret from you. Hi everyone, so yes, I have been keeping a little secret for a while now and it's been a long time coming and in this video I'm going to be announcing it towards the end but before I do that I thought it would be a fun idea to maybe give you some hints throughout this video, throughout my day here in Disneyland Paris, see if you guys can guess it before I tell you what exactly is happening. So look at this thing, beauty parcel there behind me looking adorable. We're going to be doing a couple of rides today and that's how the, the secret I suppose if you like is going to be revealed slowly but surely. So let's go to our first ride now. Well for the first part of this clue I have come to Frontierland currently standing in front of Big Thunder Mountain one of my favorite attractions here in Disneyland Paris and I'm actually going to go on the ride and slowly but surely the first clue will be revealed whilst I'm on the ride so let's head on. I love this ride so much. Big Thunder Mountain here at Disneyland Paris is amazing and by now you would have hopefully seen the very first letter which is of course J. Hmm, what could J mean? I don't know, we've still got another few letters to go so keep watching and see if you can guess. I'd be curious to know actually at which part of the video you guessed what the actual thing is so for the first letter we've got J. I am in Discovery Land now for this next letter for the clue and currently standing in front of Hyperspace Mountain, which is probably the main attraction here in this land. I'm going to go on it and hopefully when the photo is taken, the second letter of this word is going to be revealed to you. So let's go. Well, I am off Hyperspace Mountain now and we've got our second letter for the clue and it's of course an A. There you go. So, so far we've got J, A and that was a really fun ride by the way. I do enjoy Space Mountain. Sometimes it makes me a bit nauseous but overall it's a fantastic ride. So, J, A, let's see what the third letter is. Well, so far so good and please do let me know in the comments down below if you've managed to guess it already. You've got two letters so far. We've got J and A but what's the third letter going to be? Well. We're going to find out on Pirates of the Caribbean in Adventureland, so let's head on. I've just come out of Pirates and unfortunately the photo just wasn't working. The photo pass apparently isn't working at all today, which I'm very gutted about because I got a pretty awesome photo on it. But I'm going to reveal it to you now instead. So before I even show it to you, I wanted to try and guess what the letter would be for Pirates. Pirates, perhaps a P? It is indeed a P. So, so far we've got J, A and P. I'm not going to actually say the word. J, A, P. Maybe you've already guessed it, but if you haven't, we've still got two more letters to go, so let's continue. We have come to Avengers Campus for this next letter, and you can see the beautiful Queen Jet there behind me. I think there's something going on with Friday as well. There's always something going on in Avengers Campus, that's why I love it. But this next attraction that we're going to do, in fact, look, there's Captain America. <laughs> so the next the next attraction that we're going to do for the next letter is of course going to be Avengers Flight Force because that's the only attraction here in this area of Fort Lauderdale Studios Park that has a photo pass. Hopefully it will work. We'll go and have a look.
we are off Avengers Assemble's flight force and we've got our fourth letter. Did you guess that? Did you know it was an A? So yeah, another A. We've had two A's so far. We've had a P, we've had a J. We've got one last letter left now. But this is an amazing attraction actually. Having done Space Mountain and Flight Force in the same day within a short space of time, I do think I prefer the track for um, Flight Force. Of course it would be nice if they'd done more to it in terms of effects and whatnot, but the actual track of Flight Force is, in my opinion, a bit better than Space Mountains or Hyper Space Mountains. But with that being said, we are going to go now to our final attraction for our final letter of the puzzle. Well, we've only got one more ride and one more letter left. And as you can probably be able to tell from the screams behind me, Tower of Terror is going to be our final ride, revealing our final letter for the puzzle. Lord have legit mercy, Tower of Terror never fails to surprise me. Honestly, every single time I go on it, I feel like I get a new sequence, even though I have definitely already experienced all of them. But you don't even care about that because you've now got your final letter of the word, which is of course N. And yes, this one's kind of broken, so I'm trying to hold it together. It's not easy walking around the park with a bunch of wooden letters in a bag. That's what I've been doing all day. But there you go. I think you can probably guess now. J-A-P-A-N. Japan but before we end this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about it I just need a little moment to calm down maybe grab a snack and then sit somewhere and I can chat to you about this Japan trip that I'm going to be going on soon well I've got my snacks I went to the Asia stand from Le Grand Gouvernement the food and wine festival and decided to get myself a couple of snacks one is the shrimp tempuras which I have already tried before I've done a whole reel about them on Instagram you can follow me there if you wish to also I've done a video literally going through all the stands here for the food and wine if you want to see what's available but a lot of you also recommended the chicken nems, which I decided to try. So hopefully these will be nice as well. This comes with a sweet and sour sauce and then the uh, prawn tempura, you can choose what you want. I decided to just go for soy sauce because I feel like sweet and sour for both would be a bit too much. But I was hoping to find like a nice table to sit so that we could chat a little bit about this Japan trip that I'm going to be going on. But unfortunately, whilst there is a table, there's no seat. So I'm going to be eating a little bit and also very quickly telling you a little bit about this trip. These prawn tempuras are good. I can't wait to try more prawn tempuras and more Japanese food actually in Japan. I'm honestly seriously so excited. I'm a big food lover. So one of the main reasons I'm excited about Japan is just being able to eat a lot of delicious Japanese food. But you might be wondering, Sam, when are you going to Japan? Well, by the time you're watching this right now, I'm actually in Japan. It's going to be my first day in Japan so if you want to follow along then make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be posting some stories here and there throughout my trip and then the vlogs should be coming out not long after so that's the best way to see exactly what I'm up to before the vlogs come out if you're very curious but um, also threads threads might be a, a place where I might post some things here and there and then the next question you might have is who are you going with I'll be going with my aunt and cousin so this has been, like I said, a long time coming. In fact, some of you probably know that in May of 2020, so about three years ago, over three years ago, I actually already had a trip booked to Japan. I was meant to go for about 10 days, I think, in May 2020, and I was gonna go to Tokyo Disney as well, of course. And as we all know, with the events of 2020, that got canceled, as did many other things. So we were all in the same boat in 2020. And over the past three years, I've been trying to, you know, rebuild this uh, trip that I had originally organized in 2020 to hopefully plan it again. Of course, it's been a bit difficult with Japan and all of the Asian countries being closed for the past few years with COVID and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure Japan's been open for almost a year now. And I've seen loads of people, loads of vloggers, loads of other people go to Japan, have an amazing time. I'm so excited to be going with my aunt and cousin. It was their suggestion actually, so I didn't see myself going to Japan this year. I didn't think I'd be able to go until next year, 2024. So I was planning and aiming towards a 2024 Japan trip. But then things just, you know, took place and somehow things fell into place with my aunt and cousin. Also really wanting to go to Japan and not only Japan, but also Tokyo Disney. My cousin's a big Disney lover as well. 
and they both wanted to go this year like they had some time free in august and it just worked out it's not the best time to go august by the way i'm very aware of that it's gonna be very hot very humid it's definitely not like the prime time to go to japan however that means that price have been a little bit cheaper than if i were to go for instance in march or april which of course is a cherry blossom season i would like to experience that one day but for now i'm just happy to be going to japan i'm really talking a lot aren't i let me just eat one of these uh, chicken nems these are delicious oh my god thank you guys thank you for recommending this to me i thought the prawns were good and they are good but the chicken nems yeah the chicken nems are even better in my opinion i think that's what i'm having anyway but yeah really delicious and i'm gonna enjoy them as well it's getting a little bit windy and i appreciate the wind because I don't like the heat and I am a little bit nervous about how I'm going to cope in Japan but I'm going to take like a one of these like handheld fans and hopefully we're going to be as safe as possible drinking a lot making sure that we survive I'm literally even thinking of taking an umbrella or like a parasol with me so that I don't burn <laughs> too much under the sun but yeah of course I'm going to be at Tokyo Disneyland as well we're going to be having five full days in the parks hopefully two days in Tokyo Disney two days at Tokyo Disney Sea and then the last day we can decide which one we are going to go to um, I don't think they've got park upper tickets so we're just gonna have to decide which park we want for our fifth day but yeah very much looking forward to it. there'll be plenty of vlogs coming up hopefully from not just Tokyo Disney but to Japan as well I'll be going to Tokyo but also Kyoto Nara we're hoping to go to Mount Fuji as well for a day trip so yeah there's loads planned and I'm honestly so excited I feel really overwhelmed we're very lucky that this has all kind of come to place and it's actually happening this year in August like literally right now as you're watching this the planning has been so easy with my aunt and cousin they've kind of left the Disney side of it to me so I've actually booked us a couple of Disney hotels which I'm so so excited to stay out honestly one of them is a toy story hotel i'm just gonna tell you now and i genuinely cannot wait like i can't believe that i'm actually gonna be at the toy story hotel the new toy story hotel it's a budget friendly hotel by the way but it just looks amazing it looks phenomenal cannot wait and then my aunt's been you know booking some day trips for us from tokyo and Kyoto as well we're going to be staying in a ryokin I think that's how you pronounce them ryokin which are like these Japanese um, traditional houses which I'm so looking forward to there's gonna be loads of things to do I also have a couple of friends who live in Tokyo so I might even see them so yeah I'm just very excited and I'm excited to take you along the journey with me so I think that's it I think that's it really to be honest I don't want to make this vlog any longer if you do have any questions or anything then feel free to ask them in the comments down below I'll try and answer but be prepared for the vlogs coming hopefully in the next few weeks once I'm back in the UK they will be coming very very soon thank you to those of you who've been so excited about me going to Japan as well obviously I'm just announcing it now but there's been so many of you over the past few years especially after my first trip got cancelled in May of 2020 who, who constantly asked me like Sam when are you gonna go to Japan you know when's your next trip etc and as you know as well Tokyo Disney is my very last international Disney park to do I've been to Hong Kong Disneyland Shanghai Disneyland California uh, Florida and Disneyland Paris so Tokyo is the last one which means once I've done it I guess I've completed all the international Disney parks out there which is also a fun thing to think about but more than anything I'm just excited to be in Japan and experience the culture and eat the good food and meet some good people hopefully and yeah just very happy and feeling very very lucky so thank you so much for watching I'm gonna love you and leave you here and continue the rest of my food and yeah follow me on Instagram just make sure you follow me on all the social medias if you don't want to miss anything and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.